Thomas Wolfe famously wrote that you can't go home again. It infers that nostalgia causes everyone to view their past in a somewhat overly positive light. Up in Hanover, one assistant coach doesn't have that problem. His players remember his past very positively, and they're trying to help him have a more positive future as well. As the defending state champions in Class 4, the Atlee boys lacrosse team has lofty expectations. But it wasn't always that way. The class of 2019 was the first to break through and challenge for a title. They didn't win one, but they made a state championship and a state semifinal, building the program by encouraging and learning from each other without the benefit of successful alumni to guide them. They were really the first group of lacrosse players, and a lot of them were multi-sport athletes as well, but lacrosse was, was their number one sport. Feeding off of each other as well, playing summer ball, spring ball, winter, playing indoor, it was just building chemistry with each other. Mason Walzak was part of those teams. So scrappy, just brought an energy to our team that, you know, we had a, we had a tough letdown in the state championship, but uh, I tell you what, he left it all on the field. He had a great, that particular game was, was one of his best. So he, when, the, when the big moment came, he was, he was there to, to thrive. Mason has returned to his alma mater to provide whatever help he can to the coaching staff. Extend your arms. He played with the older brothers of some of this year's team, and they can all remember his impact on the field back then. He was great. I mean, he was high intensity, just always very skilled scoring. He was a player you like to watch. I know they looked up to us their middle school years and coming here, but just knowing that the upcoming kids as well were going to have a success as well, I know I was just excited to see what was to come next. He has a wealth of experience playing lacrosse. Um, so it was really, I mean, I felt like we were, we were gaining there. It wasn't, you know, it was what he's providing us. Good check, Ryan. Good check, Ryan. As much fun as Mason is having with this year's team, he'd rather not be doing it at all. Mason was entering his senior year at James Madison last fall when he began not feeling well, a feeling that didn't go away and didn't get any better. He was active, everything just didn't make sense. Mason was diagnosed last November with stage 3 large B-cell non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. The athlete in him allowed no time for pity or worry. The first thing I thought was what's next. Like what are we going to do to move on from here? Not how am I going to sit and mourn about this? To see someone his age, you know, have to tackle something like that, it just it, my, I was I was floored and devastated. I, and you know, for us it was what can we do to help? You know, even if it's something small. Regular chemotherapy treatments and hospitalizations have rung up significant medical bills. Unbeknownst to Mason or even their head coach, the seniors organized a benefit dodgeball tournament during school hours to raise what they could to help out Walzak and his family. They did everything that they had to do. They jumped through every hoop they had to to get it approved through our county and through the school board and they did it all on their own. I was so proud of them. It definitely made me tear up, like seeing guys like this really want to put in something out of their time and whatnot to do that means a lot. Although Mason is near the end of his treatments, there are still good days and bad days. Bull. The best days are when he makes it to the field and is able to impart whatever wisdom he can and be a little closer to the game he loves. He's the most positive person I know and he's dealing with that, so it's just cool to see cool to learn from. Every day, like obviously I do want to be out here and when I wake up not feeling ill, I hope to feel better by 4 p.m. so I can be out here. Um, obviously I'm taking medicines every day and such, so I'm praying for the best. The Raiders were undefeated through their first 13 games this season on their way to defending their state title. Mason has had to take this semester off from his classes at JMU, but he has gone back to visit and plans to return to classes this fall. He is on track to graduate this December and according to his doctors is very nearly cancer free. He will not think about that until he gets to ring the bell signifying the very end of his treatments. If you would like to nominate someone for us to profile, email us at beyond the roster at WTVR.com.